Hey, what's up? John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question about switching jobs as a fresh programmer here. And this uh, this question comes from uh, Mo Maurice. I think Maurice. It's, it's M-A-R-I-U-S-Z. That's a very interesting name. I think I'm going to go with Maurice. But anyway, I really appreciate your videos. They are both informative and entertaining. I am a 30-year-old self-taught programmer. After uh, a year of doing online courses and my own mini projects, I ended up at a software company and I've been working there for about four months as a JS developer. Um, since I also created a profile on LinkedIn, sometimes I get job offers from different companies, but since I still consider myself a beginner, I don't respond to any. However, at times, an offer seems really lucrative <laughs> and interesting, but the company is clearly looking for more of a senior than a junior developer. Should I even bother applying? It doesn't seem fair to accept a great job offer while I'm still mostly learning by doing at my current job. I also feel ob obliged to stay at the current company since they are keeping me, even though I'm not contributing a hell of a lot while paying me good money for that. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, keep rocking YouTube. So, okay, so this is a good one, I think. This is a good, so there's, there's sort of this moral uh, loyalty obligation feeling I think a lot of people have and you know I've talked about this before but you got to dispel any notion of loyalty uh, to a company in the business world especially today it's it's not like your grandfather's day of being a company man even then I would probably be one of those people who was who was disagreeing with it but 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 the idea is a company is not gonna be loyal to you so you know not, the long and short of it is that you don't need to have unnecessary loyalty. You could be dropped just like that. You know, it's, it's good that you're in a good opportunity, but you got to be on the lookout for other opportunities. Now, that doesn't mean that you always got to be out hunting and always on the prowl, or you don't want to do that because that'll be a waste of your time. You don't, you don't want to be like, oh, well, this company will pay me $1,000 more a year and you keep on switching jobs. That's a silly way to go as well, right? But when there are honestly good opportunities, especially what you wanna look for is opportunities where you can leapfrog, right? Where you can go from, I'm making 50K a year to 80K a year. That's awesome. And if you can take that opportunity, you do that and you jump up. And that's how you're gonna advance much faster because I guarantee you, if you stay at your old company, I have no idea what you're making, but let's say you're making 50K as a junior developer, right? And you stay there, it's gonna take you 10 years <laughs> to get up to 80K, but you could get it tomorrow by jumping to another company at 80K. And that's how, that, that's one of the best ways to advance your career. You know, a little, little secret from my how to market yourself as a software developer. I'm spilling, it, spilling the beans here, but uh, I talk about that there. But anyway, so, so the idea really is that you, you wanna look for these opportunities. And, and here's the other thing is, Everyone thinks they have this imposter syndrome. I did a video on imposter syndrome here and they think they're not good enough, right? I, m most, <laughs> probably 50% of the emails I get from people is, is, is developers saying, I'm not good enough or some way feeling like they're not good enough. No one's good enough. <laughs> Everyone has to, technology moves so fast, it's ridiculous. You have to learn on the fly, right? You have to be able to learn quickly. Uh, you know, I have a course on that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, the, the point is really that you, you've, you've, you've got to, you, you've got to get rid of this false sense that, that, that you're just gonna be super qualified for any job. What, what's, what's gonna be most important is that you can hit the ground running. And, and what I mean by that is that you can start learning and adapting and, and making progress. So if you go to an interview and you're able to pass that interview and you're able to get the job offer, just you know, have confidence that everyone on their first day at the job has these doubts that they can do the job, right? Every single job I've ever been at, no matter how high I've progressed in my career, no matter how much I've done, I've always had that, that doubt in my stomach of, can I really do this job? Am I fooling everyone? <laughs> can I keep up the, the charade? Can, can I keep fooling them? And guess what? You know, you eventually fool them. <laughs> what, what actually happens is, is you eventually find out that you are a lot better than, than you think you are and you can adapt to the situation. So don't, don't sweat it, you know, go and apply for those jobs and, and go to the interviews. It'll be good practice and good experience for you anyway. Take notes, figure out what you do wrong and, and what you do right and get that experience because when you become a great interviewer, that's gonna be huge anyway, so you might as well get that experience. And if you get one of these jobs and it's a leapfrog opportunity, don't feel guilty about it. Cool, it's awesome, go and do it and, 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 you'll, and you'll figure it out. And, and if you don't and you get fired, 
then big deal. <laughs> Just, then, then you know where you stand and you know what you need to work on and you try and you get another job. But it, I guarantee if one company will hire you for an advanced position, another one will. So you'll find another one and you'll do better or you, you'll try again. But you know, we all have to learn on the job. So, so don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Just go for the opportunity and, and you know, try, to, try to quell that self-doubt. We all have that self-doubt, but you, you, gotta, you, gotta be, you gotta be brave. You gotta have courage and get over that fear and overcome it anyway. So anyway, thanks for the question. I wish you the best of luck. If you have a question for me, email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com. And uh, if you like these videos, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Take care.